Like interest rates are going up, buyers are decreasing. We're seeing more and more properties in many areas taking a longer time to actually sell. Just three or four months ago, you'd have a stake in the ground, and by that time, you have three or four offers. Now you're pushing, you're fighting to find buyers for those properties. So, what's going on in the market, particularly in the real estate market in Durham, North Carolina? We're well, here are five things to expect for real estate buyers and sellers in 2023. Hello, everyone. Courtney Rollins, Estate Pro Service, do REI deals, and here with Life and Transitions Experts podcast to share with you some of the things that we're seeing in the market in Durham, North Carolina, and you may be seeing across markets across the nation. All right. So as we know, there is a serious price correction going on after a historic rise in uh, prices um, the pandemic really changed the game and had a lot of us feel like we were geniuses out there. Everything that we touched and breathed on as an investor, as a wholesaler, as an agent, or as a seller was going, going. And buyers were picking them up as well because money was plentiful as well. Now, there's some things that we're going to have to adjust to this com uh, these coming 2023. One are tax laws. We can expect new tax laws to come into play. Some of them are focusing on capital gains tax and like exchanges. So make sure you're connecting with a great CPA and great professionals out there to help you consider what you need to do to make sure whatever your tax strategy is, is secured. Real estate professionals like Estate Pro Service, we have a national uh, connection with um, tons of estate professionals as well as financial advisors that can help serve you. So reach out to us and we'll make sure we put you in the right place so that you can take advantage of the tax laws before they change as well as when they change. Again, interest rates. Interest rates have changed. A monthly uh, payment was 1700 Now it's 2500 and more. Interest rates were at a historic low of like 3%. Now they're in the 7% at the time of this recording across the nation. That's changing buyers' and sellers' expectations. So expect for that to continue to change. And acting as a direct buyer, like we are at a state pro service, means we can guarantee closings and usually they can take place in a few days or a few weeks depending on the situation so if you're going to a direct cash buyer that may be the advantage for you as a seller of course supply and demand as always supply is down demand's going to be high and vice versa and supply 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 it's coming out there's more and more so there's going to be a little less demand out there so you're going to, have to be very savvy as a seller to be able to sell your property consider other techniques like a creative financing seller financing subject to these are great ways for you to get the money that you want for your property as well as avoid some of the tax implications and as well as sell um, and put yourself in front of buyers who normally wouldn't be able to buy because of the interest rates and um, the demand just not being there because people are going more into the sideline. Make sure you connect with a, a an investor and a real estate professional like the State Pro Service where we can take a look at what's the best options for you and give you our humble view of what the option would be like if you took a cash offer, as is offer, or found a great uh, marketing and listing strategy for you and did sell it in the traditional route. Now, housing costs, is, they may be slowing down as sellers get adjusted. Usually sellers are the last to adjust to the reality of the adjusting market. And so as the prices go down, you may be someone as a buyer is thinking, well, wait, well, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. Remember the old adage, the best time to buy real estate was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. So you buy real estate and wait. Um, and so trying to time the market you may be playing a long game of double dutch and you may find a lot of opportunities out there uh, you're missing. And as well as sellers, if you're waiting, waiting for prices to go back up, you may be going into a steeper, deep uh, dip that you weren't anticipating. So we definitely recommend you consider time as housing costs continues to adjust. And again, the buyer pool is shrinking. So having cash buyers, vetted direct buyers, such as Estate Pro Service or the other great real estate professionals out there is going to serve you so well as a seller. Uh, and if you're a buyer and you can show yourself to be reputable, show yourself to be consistent, show yourself uh, to have competency, then you're going to position yourself to serve and help a lot of people out there. That's an awesome thing. And remember technology. These millennials are coming into the market and they're expecting quick, fast, 
information and transactions. So make sure if you're an agent or if you're a hybrid agent, such as the folks over at Estate Pro Service, that you have the latest technology available to you so that you can market and so that you can serve your changing demographics of folks who are coming in to the market. We at Estate Pro Service would love to work with you if you consider us to be that person or that company for you. If not, we hope you are, um, we wish you the best on your journey and would love to help you in any way we can. We love to be, being a part of people's journey. It's our policy to have, uh, start with our big heart, <laughs> listen with our big old head in our ears and take action with our hands. So feel free to give us a call today. We'll definitely connect you with the right places. And uh, as I always say, rising tides, it lifts all sails. Cheers. And of course, make sure you subscribe, like Life and Transitions Experts podcast, Life and Transitions Experts Facebook group. Great place to go if you're trying to grow your business or you're looking for resources to help you through those big changes in life, such as selling or buying a property. Uh, again, Courtney Rollins signing off, Estate Pro Service. Cheers.